everyone, this is Cindy Duncan with Cindy Duncan Arts. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back to those of you who are subscribers. Thanks for subscribing to me. I would like to share with you today a project that I made while I had a couple of weeks off from work over the Christmas holidays. Um, this fun little book I did, it's a fabric book, and what I did was... I knew I had some time to create something, so I walked around my um, supply area, and this fabric here was the first thing that I saw in my supplies, and so I grabbed it and said, okay, that's what I'm going to use. This fabric is actually a double-sided quilted material, and um, it actually is quite nice. So the batting and everything is, is already included in the material. Uh, the cover of this... Um, Look at this great doily. This is something that I got at an estate sale. As I really don't even need to say that. Pretty much, you guys, everything is from an estate sale, um, including that uh, fabric batting that I did or the double-sided quilted thing. But anyway, this took me a really long time to do, primarily because I was really concerned about the quality of it. I wanted it to be something that was really high quality, and um, I didn't want to use hot glue. So basically I used mainly hand stitching. So all of this stuff is hand stitched down. I wonder why my video is doing that with the... Why did it do that? I don't know why my video paused like that. I'm using my phone. It's very strange. I apologize for that. Um, anyway, the the um, I wanted to use hand stitching with it. And I did that. I did some embroidery um, stitching around the outside. No fancy stitches or anything. Just, you know, stitches. Um, I did use some glue in here, but very sparingly, and it is uh, artist quality glue that I used. Um, oh, I had already started videoing this and had, had to stop. This actually is attached. It would have been easier to unattach. <laughs> this is attached. Get down and put it together. I have it closed with this little thing here, which isn't as hard as it looks to close. Okay, so that's how it comes closed. And um, this is from a piece of cro bleh, crocheted material that I got at an estate sale, and I put it on the back page, and you'll see it when I get there. But I just kind of looped it around and tucked it over that button like that. It's got a lot of fun goodness inside of there. Um, you know, the bottom kind of looks really nice and shabby. The top looks shabby. And even though I did sew everything, um, you can still see the batting coming through. And that's on purpose because I like the little um, thread showing and the batting showing. So let's go inside. On this first page, I have, um, and throughout the book too, you saw it on the cover, I have the Tim Holtz paper dolls. Um, this is a metal piece that I got from Nun Designs, N-U-N-N. -N. Um, that was something that they had given for a review or something to the magazine. And then this right here, this applique, um, is all from the same set of appliques. It's from a wedding dress that I cut up. And I'm pretty sure that in one of my haul videos or in some video somewhere, I talked about the wedding dress that had the beads glued on instead of stitched on and how they started to come off when I washed it. This is from that. Um, so anyway, so these are glued on. And um, I added some down here because these weren't originally here. And then I coffee dyed some of them to add some interest. This is a little embellishment that I got. Um, of course, also in an estate sale. This is one of the very few dangle trims that I actually have there. Some Battenberg lace. Again, all of that stuff is from an estate sale. Um, this thing around her head is a piece of a tattered, do not tattered, tatted doily. Um, I just cut off the little circular shapes on the outside edge. And you can see those. Is it actually stopping or can you hear me? I hate, I don't know why it's doing that. Look, I don't know why it's doing that. Um, anyway, that tatted stuff is over here on the corner also. You'll see that over there and down there. Um, this is also a... Uh, I'm sorry, I'm getting distracted by this video thing doing what it's doing. 
This is from that dress that I cut up. Cut up. This is absolutely gorgeous, this particular lace down here. I really like this lace. And um, I also then added these beads here. I sewed those on. Those are not glued on. And then I added this. What else I did? Oh, I don't know why it's doing that. I won't know until I play it back if it's actually doing what I see in my viewfinder or not. So I'm just going to go ahead. Um, this card right here is on paper, which is sewn to um, fabric. This fabric, and there's other fabric throughout this book, uh, is from vintage quilt squares that I picked up in a bag, just tons and tons and tons of them at an estate sale, and um, I was really thrilled to get them. The little dictionary definition says something about mischief, because um, I thought maybe this little boy looked like he would grow up and be mischievous. <laughs> So this is all sewn on here. This is a vintage ribbon that I sewed onto the bottom. And then all of this, this is what it looks like without. And then all of this, or all of this, this card tucks back inside there. And then it tucks underneath that applique for safekeeping. So that's that page. And then we come to this page, and again, more of the Tim Holtz paper dolls. These two things, this one here and this one here, are handkerchiefs, <clears throat> as is this one. And I just really liked the blue edge to that, as you can see right there and right there. So I've used that in a few different places. This is a different one. It had blue edge, too, and a white um, part of that with some fringe hanging off, so I liked that. These are little uh, spacers from a table runner that I cut apart. This is vintage fabric from those vintage quilt squares I was telling you about. And then this stuff, <clears throat> this is really cool texture. And this is actually a thread that was part of a crocheted piece. I got it at an estate sale and it was fraying and unraveling. And so this is all the part that was unraveled, and I cut that, and then I tied it off so that nothing else would unravel and I could use it. But I thought, rather than throw that away, that was really kind of fun um, there. So I like that. And then over here, like I said, I've got the handkerchief there. I added another one of those tatted things there. Again, that's sewed down. Um, I have my little card in there. It's similar to an ATC, but I don't think it's the same size. But it's sewn all the way around has a little um, piece of lace there and then on the back is some place that um, you could journal on if you wanted to and decorate it a little bit. So that tucks down inside there. Of course I've got this cute little pom-pom trim. I love this. I um, grunged it up a little bit so that it would match the rest of my book. <clears throat> this is one of my favorite pages. Um, again this is Tim Holtz and then this was from Nun Designs. Um, and a metal piece there. And then this is vintage sequin trim. I really like that. And that is stitched down all the way across. Like I said, all of this is stitched. I use glue very sparingly. This is a piece of netting that I sewed and added onto the top of that. <clears throat> um, this right here, it's sewed down so I don't know if you can see it real well. Beneath there, that blue thing is a variegated um, embellishment that came off of some crocheted piece. And then, of course, this is from a crocheted piece I cut out and sewed the button inside. There's a um, Battenberg heart behind there. This is some of that vintage quilt square. And then this is a little book that's tucked down inside there. It's got that little thing that goes behind her. little crocheted piece there little girl, women, they're not girls, behind there. And then this is just an empty <clears throat> empty book. Um, and there's no embellishment in there at all. Namely because I spent so much time on the book. I kind of was running out of time. I wanted to get this filmed and posted. Whoops, I always do that. I cover his face. <laughs> I think that's kind of funny, actually. Um, and then over here on this side, this is a belly band. Um, I love this color lace here that I have. 
Um, this is something that I cut off of a runner that I got at um, Salvation Army, I think. This is a connector piece. I think I got that from Donna Little. There's a doily behind it. Another piece of that tatted um, doily cut apart. And then tucked into here is this card, or tag, what do we want to call it? And it's a crocheted square. I'm not sure what the square was supposed to be for. Um, and it's sewn onto a piece of cardstock. And on the back it has a piece of fabric. And I hand stitched this um, applique onto that material. Um, all of this is stitched on. It's machine stitched here on this side. There's a little feather right there, as you can tell. And then here, tucked inside, is an old photograph that I embellished a little bit, decorated. And there's space on the back to write something. I kind of thought, if you look at it, it almost looks like a family. Like, like this was the grandmother or great-grandmother. This is the... Um, her daughter, and then maybe this is her, or even her daughter with a baby. Um, but that's kind of where I was thinking. I thought they resembled each other, so that's why I put her and the baby in here. And that's stitched down, and this is folded over to give a nice edge. And then that just tucks back in there real nice and tidy-like. So there's that. And then un underneath, again, I've sewed everything together, but there's a couple different layers going on there. And then this page, um, I really like this pocket. The shape came out real nice from the, it, again, it was already done that way. It was crocheted piece that was not attached to anything. This is trim from that handkerchief that I put under. I folded over this piece and then sewed this to that. And then this is one of those non-designed metal pieces. This is another one of those embellishments, the crocheted pieces that I found in a bag of... Oh, I actually, i tell you what this one's from. It's not the same as this one. This one I found at my mom and dad's house not long ago in a bag, kind of tucked away in a corner, something I had never seen before. It had been cut off of a piece of crochet something. I kind of like to think that my mom... <laughs> showed it to me. Mom's passed away a number of years now, but anyway, that, I kind of thought that was cute. Like, it just kind of happened while I was doing things that I would need that. Anyway, um, this little bag, this little glassine bag tucks down in here. It has its little bow on it, out of lace. And then there's some fun little stuff. I you love the crinkle. Fun little stuff tucked inside, just one of those little doilies. And then um, some pieces of ephemera. A little picture. This one is from um, Artful Illusions. And they're just kind of, um, all of them have some stamping on the back side so they're not completely plain. They won't show them all to you. Let me go back down inside the little bag. And tuck back in that pocket. Like that. And then this side, this was kind of fun to do. This is a piece of lace. It's one of those ribbon laces that you can thread things, ribbon through. And what I did was I tucked him up in there, and I think I may have cut out one of these holes so that he could go in there. Tucked him in there. There's another doily behind there to add some color interest. And then he's got his little dog there. And some more of this fun pom-pom trim. And then more of those flowers that I got from my mom and dad's house. And I did sew these pearls into each one of those flowers. So those are sewn in embellishments. And then there's a vintage embellishment, or not embellishment, a vintage trim along the side here. And then we have the last set of pages. Again from Tim Holtz. And uh, Nun Designs. This is a, uh, actually it was a cross piece that I got from an estate sale. And then there's a little pocket right over here with a <clears throat> little thing that you pull out. This is paper. <coughs> Excuse me for coughing. Um, and so I've got the little girl there. I don't know where I got this image from, you guys, to tell you. I really don't know. Um, it was on a sheet of images that were this size that I have, so... Um, there was no notation on it. I don't know where it came from. Um, so I did that, and like the other one, this kind of just... Wow, I can't 
get my words. This covers the stitching on this side, and then it just has the little pages inside. Um, <laughs> as Jim Miller says, for all your journaling needs. <laughs> so it tucks back in there, and actually it tucks in there pretty easy, so I don't know why. Oh, there we go. Okay, tucks right back inside of there. And then this side's the last page. It's like a flower page, but it has a little secret. Here underneath the flower, a little tab, and you pull that, and you've got a little bitty book. And this image actually is, oops, sorry about that. This image is from, um, I had a set of 8x8 eight eight papers, and they're shiny papers, so they were, you know, produced not on somebody's home printer, uh, but there was no name on it. So whatever company or whoever printed or did these did not put the information to whom they belong or to who they belong. I don't know. I'm bad with that. But anyways, it's just a little sewn thing. And it tucks right back inside there like that with its little tab hanging out. And then that's it. That's the end of our book. And I told you that I've got this sewn on the end. And it's sewn over a little bit so that it adds a little, you know, nice angle to it. And then when I go to close it, I kind of twist this over a little bit. And I bring it up there like that. And I close it up like that. And so it has that nice look on the side like that. And that's my little book. So, like I said, it was a labor of love. It took me two weeks, at least, to do um, working on it a little bit here and there, um, some full days even. But I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it. If you are not already a subscriber of mine, please like and subscribe, and um, that way you'll see more of this stuff when I put it out. When I put it out. So thanks to everybody who's already a subscriber. Thanks for watching, you guys. Have a great day. Bye.